Hi, Shimbisi right here, uh, aka that's not my real name. Does anyone remember my real name? Uh, yeah, um, anyway, let's talk about mamas. So this year's mama nominees are here and so are the fan wars. And I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys who I'm going to be voting for in each category and you know giving my opinion on why I think they should win or who I think will win, who I think should be nominated and you know things like that. Please remember keep in mind that this is just my very personal opinion. It may be different from yours. It may not be the most popular opinion or it may be actually quite a popular opinion. Whatever, you don't have to agree, but please be respectful with my choices because I respect every single artist and every single opinion, even if it's different from mine. And with that said, I guess we should start. Alright, so the very first category we have is Best New Male Artist and we have Han, Stray Kids, Kim Donghan, The Voice, Pinkson, and Hyungsup and Yuwon. Sorry if I butcher any names, please forgive me. I feel like the one I'm going to be voting for will be very different from who I think will win because I feel there's only one obvious winner for this and that would have to be Stray Kids. And okay, so I feel like this year's female debuts were very strong in comparison to the boy groups because they were okay but there wasn't really that much competition so it will really be an obvious thing to give it to stray kids who i'm going to be voting for is the boys and i mean i would be okay with it with the stray kids winning they are nice guys they have you know nice music i'm not super into their title tracks but uh I'm getting more into them. Still, I would want The Voice to win because I've been following them since their debut. They have been consistently releasing really good music. I really like all of their title tracks. I really enjoy the retro influences they have. And they are just really good dancers. But I'm quite certain that the award will be for Stray Kids. And I mean, that's okay. But. If I have to pick a winner, I would pick the boys. Now we have the second category, which is Best New Female Artist. And oh my god, this is the category that stresses me the most. I mean, I've been saying it all year long. This year is female. Every single girl group has literally slayed 2018. Especially the debuts, they have been so freaking amazing. Everyone stands out in my opinion. Even though I 100% know who I'm going to vote for. Um, you guys probably know that too. As much as I would want Luna, my babies, to win, I know that's probably not going to happen. So yeah, we have Nature, GWSN, Idzone, G Idol, Luna, and Promise 9. I am voting for Luna because they are my favorite debut of the year. Period. You probably already know that, and if you don't, then I don't know why. Who I think will win is probably between G Idol or Idzone. Idzone are babies of Eminent. So it wouldn't surprise me if Eminent gave it to them, even though up until now G Idol would seem like the most fair choice, basing it on the streams and digital numbers and sales and all of that. But knowing Eminent, chances of Idol taking the award are quite high. And I mean, it makes sense for them to give it to their daughters. It's not like they don't deserve it, because in my opinion, everyone here deserves it. Maybe 
promised land, you know, if we base it on them also being Mnet's babies, I honestly think they are kind of tied on third place with Luna. Also, I would have added some other debuts like Unit C or maybe even Neon Punch because I really enjoyed their debut songs. I am going to vote for Luna, but I know that the idol is going to take the award. Moving on, we have Best Male Group, and we have GOT7, NCT127, NewSW101, BTS, and Seventeen. I technically stand for out of these six groups, and I feel like maybe my choice is the one I think will win but who knows again it's Mnet. Mnet likes to give awards to their groups which you know sort of makes sense if it was up to me I would have to say BTS is taking the award they had the best year not just in South Korea but internationally so I feel like that would be the most obvious choice but last year was a surprise maybe this year will be a surprise as well who knows we'll have to wait and see I'm voting for BTS now we have best female group and we have Blackpink, TWICE, Red Velvet Mamamoo, Momoland, and G-Friend. Okay, I like all of these girl groups. Some more than others, but I like them all. I feel like they all had really good years. I love girl groups, what can I say? Do you know who I'm going to vote for? Yeah, of course you know. And <sighs> I'm sad, and we will talk about it in a little bit. I know G-Friend is not really going to win. I wish they would. And I guess that it would be very, very tied between Blackpink and TWICE, but here's the thing. It seems like Eminent likes to punish groups that don't attend the award show, and Blackpink is not going because YG doesn't like to send his groups there, so I feel like TWICE is going to take the award, and I have no problem with that. I know a lot of people get mad when TWICE wins stuff, but they are popular, people love them, they have catchy music, they are just the most popular girl group at the moment and people have to learn to deal with that, whether they like it or not. There's always a chance for a surprise, maybe Blackpink will win, but who knows. I am still standing strong voting for G Friends, although I know chances of them winning are quite low. Now, for the next category, we have Best Male Artist. And looking here, I honestly don't really listen to any of them, but hey, we have Dean, Roy Kim, Park Hyoshin, Siko, and Huang Chijul. I really don't listen to any of them. I guess I'm going to vote for a sequel. I really don't know that much about the rest. I mean, I kind of know about Dean. Yeah, I really don't have that much of a strong opinion about this because I don't really listen to male artists. But yeah, I'm voting for sequel. Next one. Best female artist. We have Ayu, Sunmi, Chungha, Taeyeon, and Hazel. I don't know how you pronounce her name, sorry. I am voting for Sunny because in my opinion, this has been her year. She has released such good music, she's honestly killing the game, owning the game, running the show. Her latest album was amazing, she has remained consistent, releasing bop after bop and honestly, I hope she wins. Though I know that Ayu is a really strong contender because South Korea loves her and a lot of people internationally also love her and she always charts really well and I think Sunmi should be the winner and let's move on. Now we have best dance performance solo and I have to say that I love every single one of 
the nominations for this. Although it makes it harder for me to vote, we have Sunmi with Siren, Sunli with 123, Chongha with Roller Coaster, Hyuna with Lip and Hip and Hyorin with Dali. I really love every single one of these songs and dances. I guess that I will vote for Sunmi because maybe if she doesn't win best female artist at least she can win best dance performance. So yeah I'm going to vote for Sunmi. I really don't think I'll have any issue with any other person wins because again I love all of these people but my choice is Sunmi. Next we have best dance performance male group and the nominees are 101 with Boomerang, GOT7 with Lullaby, Monster X with Shootout, BTS with Fake Love, Seventeen with Oh My and Pentagon with Shine. My choice for dance whenever it comes to boy groups has to be 17. They are the dancing kings in my opinion. Everything they do with their choreography is just so amazing, so synchronized. They are just incredibly talented. I really hope they win, but I don't know if maybe Pentagon or BTS may take the award. I really hope 17 takes it though. I'm not sure who else could win. Let's keep moving. Now let me release my inner suffering for the nominations in this category. The best dance performance female group. I am furious. I honestly feel betrayed so mad. I honestly can't believe that G-Friend is not nominated for this. With Time for the Moon Knight, the best female choreography of 2018, they are not here. I guess the dance is way too good to even be nominated. G-Friend should have been nominated. There really is no sort of reason or excuse to commit such a horrible crime. The nominees that we have are AOA with Bingo Bangle, Twice with What Is Love, Blackpink with Dida Dida, Red Velvet with Bad Boy, Lovelace with Dead Day, and Oh My Girl with Secret Garden. No G friend? Really? How can you live like that? If I would have to pick one of these dances, Twice won last year, and I feel like they are going to win this year again. Like I said, Mnet likes to punish groups who don't attend the award show, so probably Blackpink and Red Velvet, who are also strong contenders, may not win it. If we're going to talk about dance, I feel like Oh My Girl really deserves this award. They are also extremely good dancers. I guess TWICE is going to take it. And they are also going to be my choice. Because I love the dance to What Is Love. It's probably the one that I know the most. And I really think TWICE is going to take it. So in spite of no different, we'll have to pick TWICE. Now we have another category that I don't really know who to vote for because I don't really listen to any of these people. We have Roy Kim with Only Then, Park Hyoshin with Sound of Winter, Im Chang Jun with There Has Never Been a Day I Haven't Loved You, Jun Sung Hwan with The Snowman, and Hayes with Didn't Know Me. I'm going to vote for Hayes because Hayes it, Hayes. How do you pronounce her name? I'm sorry. I'm going to vote for her because in this category full of men, I'm voting for the female. Yay! Let's vote for her. Now we have best vocal performance group. And we have I Can with Love a Scenario, Mamamoo with Serenite, Melomance with Tail, Popogan 4 with Travel, and B2B with Only One for Me. I would either vote for Mamamoo or B2B, but I like Starry Night more and I feel like 2018 has been a really nice year for Mamamoo, so I'm voting for them. Now who I think will win, it's going to be most likely Icon, because we all know how crazy of a year it was for them with this 
very specific song, how the little kids kept singing it, how it just became internationally known. So if we have to be fair and give the award to really the most popular performance out of all of this, I guess I can would have to take it, but I'm going for Mamu because I like them and I like the song and they're just really good singers and I hope maybe they have a chance to win. If you don't know who I'm going to vote for for this category, I honestly don't know you. Okay, so number 12, best band performance. And we have Day 6 with Shoot Me, Fitzland with Summer Night Stream, Gukkasen with Stranger, Kiha and the Faces with Choshim, and Hyuka with Lavia. I am voting for Day 6. I hope Day 6 wins. I really want Day 6 to win. Do I think they'll win? Hopefully. I honestly don't know enough about the rest of the nominees, but I hope Day 6 wins because they deserve it because they didn't win last year even though they released a song every single month of the year and hopefully they may take the award home this time and if they don't i'm gonna have to bang bang someone day six is my choice now we have best hip-hop and urban music Again, a lot of people that I know, but I don't really listen to. We have Dean with Instagram, J Park with Soju, Seiko with Soulmate, Crush with Bittersweet, and Heize. Heize? I'm gonna keep pronouncing her name wrong. I'm so sorry. With Jenga. I honestly haven't listened to any of these songs. Just like in the previous category where there was only one girl nominated with which was also Heise. His. I am going to vote for her just because females, yeah. Anyway, and for best unit, we have XOCBX with Blooming Day, 101 Triple Position with Kangaroo, Gugudan Semina with Semina, BSS with Just Do It, and Girls' Generation OGG with Lil Touch. I really like both XOCPX and OGG the most, and I really like both of their songs a lot, but I feel like I like Lil Touch slightly better, and who I think will win? I mean, it could be 101, but... I am voting for OGG. Now we have best music video. And we have Blackpink with Dido Dido, Twice with What Is Love, 101 with Beautiful, BTS with Idol, and Shiny with Good Evening. I really like Blackpink and Twice. I just feel like I like Twice's slightly better, but they are both really good music videos. For the rest, I like Shiny, who I think will win. It can be anyone, honestly. I am voting for twice. And now for another category that I honestly have no idea about who I'm going to vote for because I just have not even listened to a single one of these songs. And well, it's best OST, original soundtrack. We have newest W with And I from Mr. Sunshine. Roy Kim with No Longer Mine from Familiar Wife, Park Hyoshin with The Day from Mr. Sunshine, 17 with 18 from 18, and Paul Kim with Every Day, Every Moment from Should We Kiss First. I'm going to vote for the ones I know, which are 17. I haven't heard the song. I honestly don't think I know who will win. I'm just going for the ones I know. Now the crazy category song of the year. I'm not going to read every single one of these songs because our songs that I have already mentioned. Who I think will win? Maybe I can? Maybe twice? I don't know. I am going to go for the song that out of all of these nominations has the most plays in my personal library, which is Red Velvet 
bad boy. Also, I haven't voted for Red Velvet in anything. I guess, to be fair, we're voting for them. And yeah, now the last category. Artist of the Year. I'm not going to read the name of all the artists later because they are just names that I already mentioned. And chances are BTS may take it, but maybe also Icon or TWICE. I honestly don't know. Should I just vote for Luna or different? Alright, I'm going to go with my gut feeling of who I think will win. If we had to narrow it down to one girl group, one boy group, I would say TWICE or BTS. I'm going to vote for TWICE. Why not? I mean, I'm honestly not gonna get mad at anyone who wins. I'm not the type of person. So we are done. And here you have it. All my choices, all my picks, everyone I have voted for in this year's mama. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. I am interested in seeing people's opinions. Of course, if they are respectful. And well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you didn't get annoyed by my boring ass voice. I'm sorry, I am trying to record this without my family asking me what the hell am I doing. And I only have my phone to record this with. So sorry for the audio quality. Um, but you said you hated the robot voice and I feel like you're gonna hate my real voice even more. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, share your own votes for Mama and remember to vote, you know. If you want to contribute in something, vote. Whether it is music or anything else in life, just vote. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video and bye.